I liked DX. I should have been a bigger DX I fan for what it was. Like, I suck it, DX, suck it. Yeah. But I kind of saw, like, the immaturity of it wasn't that impressive to me. I remember the grade underneath me all being DX people and the grade underneath them all being <laughs> DX people. There's a certain... There's a certain psychology of ages. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. You know, and us 84 kids pretty much like agree across the boards on these things. You know, I was born in 83. I'm not a big DX guy. I'm a huge Triple H fan. I'm a huge Shawn Michaels fan. I'm a, you know, yeah. And oh, yeah. I, I, I individually, I really like these guys together as that group. I, I oh, was that moonsault into the tombstone. I mean, ridiculous. You must Only hear it, it every once. day, but oh my Only god! Only did it once. <laughs> oh my we, god! We, we, we practiced, never could get it, and we just do it. We'll do it tomorrow. And we really? It. Yeah. <laughs> we tried it three times the night before. I missed him every time. We did it. Whoa! We really? did it in the in the show and perfect. Wow! Thank you. Oh my god, that is so cool. Yeah, that is <laughs> that is good stuff. Um, so Mark, this is for you as well. Uh, you guys can combine on this. You can come together come to build this. Come together. Mount Rush. He loves to sing. Mount Rushmore of wrestling moments that really, because there's two that pop in my head that really like changed. I think wrestling, and the two that I have is um, Hogan beating Andre, slamming Andre, yeah, slamming yeah. Andre, yeah. And then Hogan turning heel. Mm. And you can you can say what you want. I just feel like that night is what made the Monday Night Wars what they were. Mm. The Mount Rushmore of moments. Of moments in wrestling history. Yeah. And you have to think, I think like you do, like you just can't think of, you have to put it in criteria. Like that, that was my original Mount Rushmore. The, the influence that my Mount Rushmore wrestlers had on the industry. That's how I put mine together. Uh, I'll start with Andre being slammed by Hogan. Okay. That's a moment. Um, the Austin 316 promo. Yep. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Huge. Um, Rock. And Hogan meeting in the ring for the first time before their WrestleMania, where they just stared and looked at each other. Mm -hmm. And I think the streak getting broke. Yeah. Those are, that's yep. what I got. That, that's, that's great. Great analysis. When I did, uh, I did just like I did Rogan with you mm -hmm. and with Ric Flair and with Jake the Snake, I also did it with Hogan. And I made him, again, because Joe's thing with pro wrestling is, wow, they, they put their bodies through a lot. They're unbelievable athletes. I don't really get it. Right. <laughs> like, it's his thing. But I go, Joe, you need to see what it's like when Hogan and The Rock face off. And he's, he was, it's, every, it's right. my, one of my favorite things is getting to turn the serious people. You see a <laughs> glimmer in their eyes of just like, whoa. Yeah. And, and it, you know, it was very cool. We played it on the show. Which is like a, you know, it's like a, you know, it's a special thing to get to shoehorn something in there. Like a, a Joe, you got to see this means it has to be good. Right, right. Know? And, uh, and yeah, that was, that was so cool. And yeah, we covered, we've, I've done all, we've covered all four of those moments except for Austin 316 on his show. Because I remember him seeing the reactions to your streak being broken on one of the ones that I did with him as well. I don't know if it was the one that you were on, but we very rarely roll video of right. pro wrestling, even if we're talking about it or right. this or that. Only the very best stuff. And, um, but yeah, yeah, man, wild that the uh, all four of those Stone Cold's thing. What year was that? That was 90... King of the Ring. 98, right after King of the Ring. Yeah. I think he had yeah. just wrestled Bret Hart. They had had that just killer, killer match. And he came out the next night with Austin 316. He thought he just kicked your ass. Yeah. Oh, man. 
and we were off. We were off and running because we'd been getting our asses handed to us mm -hmm. for for weeks and months at that point. But you know, from when the Monday Night Wars, that was that was kind of the. Mm -hmm. And you don't put Hogan turning heel in there, huh? Nah. Where do you put that, Tony? We I mean, feel like you was, mean NWO. Yeah, when he turned. I mean, this was uh, when he turned heel. For the first time, or the only time, really, I guess. I don't know. I mean, maybe I'm just a different type of person, and I get it. A lot of my wrestling buddies, they add a lot of WCW stuff to this list and that list and things like that. But, I mean, again, other than the unbelievably comedic... <laughs> I mean, it's their it's their doofy decisions that stand out yeah. to me as like unbelievable. <laughs> like again, Goldberg giving that away. Uh, Just here you go. We'll, we're gonna win every Monday after this because we're giving this away. So they were telling them yeah. anything can happen on a Monday, but it's like no. You just gave away the the money shot. All the money oh right there. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> I just can't put WCW stuff. And again, the NWO was cool, you know. I'm 14 or whatever. That period of time should have hit me like a ton of bricks. But again, I always look at the little things, the little details. Like, you know. Kevin Nash said Vir it best. Virgil's in it. But that's what I was about to say. By the end of it, like, there was yeah. like only two or three people that weren't NWO. Well, what, the, what ended yeah. what yeah. ended up happening that that they screwed they screwed the pooch on that right like but you know Kevin Nash I mean like everybody in the place was part of NWO and it became something that was just stupid the very beginning of it it was really cool it yeah. was like you know mm -hmm. they that was the reason why they were able to end up beating WWF there for a while right. but um, you know Kevin Nash has gone on record by saying he goes you know we come in there and that first night and you got two dudes that are from the other product and we beat up your entire locker room yeah with just two of us and a baseball bat and he goes you essentially hurt yourself by doing that you just said that nobody <laughs> in your locker room <laughs> could can, take anybody can take there. us to which this whole thing is supposed to be the outsiders are wwe's invading wcw right. and, he goes, and we beat up your entire locker room the first night he goes and Kevin Ash said, he goes, y'all are never going to beat Vince. Right. Yeah, that's a brilliant point. I never even thought of it that way. I'm looking back at it, whatever, hey. 30 years later, like, oh, yeah. Booking ain't easy. Uh -uh. Yeah. No, it, it, it's not. I mean, it, to make things, to clear up, you know, holes and, you know, things that you don't think about. Like you said, you just, right. oh, I never look at it that way. Yeah. You have to but do there, it but, week after week. So even but, if you have something that works once, you have to. They're waiting next week. So yeah. it's like, yeah. whoa. I think that writer's job, that has to be the, is that the hardest job in wrestling, you think? I, is, I mean, that you don't have to, do, I don't know. Man. Without I, having I, to get in the ring. I, I don't know. I mean, we, our, we, our riggers and stuff like that have a hard job, but I, I'm talking about stress. It, it, well, and it's not so much now, but but when, when the big man was still there, um, that was a highly stressful job and a very short-lived for most i mean it was there was a pretty high turnover rate yeah and a lot of it people would just quit because they couldn't handle the pressure yeah i mean it's just and to have your ideas that you know i can tell you as a writer i've written for a lot of things where other people are executing what you've written and when you believe in it and then it gets thrown out mm -hmm. at the last minute that's devastating oh yeah it makes you feel like you're worth nothing and this thing that you envisioned you know you'd almost do it for free if you felt like you were making a change yeah. and people were enjoying your work so like money doesn't save it when your creative when your creativity goes to waste yeah that's a hard part is the script being thrown out an hour before the show and rewrite it like that part well, there were several times uh, I know with me where this is something you just had to, you had to accept being in the WWE and those early days is like, you might, you know, you, you, we spent hours and hours and hours on the road driving from one town to, and, and that's where a lot of good creative happen. You're drinking beer and you're talking and you know, everybody's kind of snowballing and ideas, but then you come. A lot of snow, a lot of snow. Well, you just, <laughs> 
He's throwing you under the bus over not there. Not you, not you. No. Your, your friends. I was, I was mainlining, right? <laughs> no. Uh, but have ideas and storylines, and you pitch it for yourself, and it goes, oh, that's, you go, Vince goes, that's, oh, that's really good, and then give it to somebody else. Oh, yeah. That was, those oh. were, man, there was, I, had, I took mm. a couple of gut shots and stuff that I had, like, worked and just detailed after and he was like, God damn, that's f-ing awesome. I'm going to give it to someone. Yeah. And I'm like, no, that was for me. He goes, nah, doesn't work for you. <laughs> but this is going to be great. And I was like, oh. Do you remember you. a good one that was executed that we might remember? Uh, no, I, I think I, like, I, I burn them out of my brain. Right. Just, yep. Compartmentalize. Um, I get that. Yeah. We were just talking about that last night about a couple terrible auditions that I had, and I can't remember a lot about them from back in the day. Yeah, because I literally like doof, doof, just ship them off. You got a, to down the chocolate yeah. factory to be able to survive. Yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely. You have to be able to do that. Yeah. Short memory. Short yeah. memory. Yeah, it's getting shorter all the time, <laughs> as we found out.